Good morning, how y'all doing? It's 741. Just got off work about 10 minutes ago. It's a lovely morning. You know what I'm saying? It's real nice out here. Boom, beautiful state of Georgia. Shout out to, you know, God for creating this beautiful state. But check this out. I don't proclaim to be a YouTuber, so I don't want there to be an expectation for me to just make videos and always have a feed, stuff like that. I always try to entertain people because I'm not trying to entertain you. Because at the end of the day, whether you watch my videos or not, it's on you solely so what i want to speak on behalf of now is something that i have i was thinking about while i was working stuff like that you know because ultimately everybody says this but i guess now it's my turn so everybody says i learned so much about myself blah blah this that and the third from my last relationship i learned so much more when we broke up blah 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 all right so it's been like almost six months since I've been in a relationship. So I feel as though I can speak on behalf of it. But I don't necessarily want it to seem like I'm trying to shade anything or blur lines or slander. Because that is the end of my intent considering there is no reason to do any of that. So one, the first thing I learned about myself from a relationship I realize I'm really not that affectionate, man. I really do not fiend for attention. I really don't want to be touched all the time. I don't want to be bothered all day. I don't find it necessary to constantly keep in contact with my significant other if they know where I'm at. Um, two, I learned that I'm really, really territorial over the female that I am engaging with, mainly because it's not me trying to assert dominance over her. It's not me trying to be in control of her life. It's not me trying to tell her that everything she does is wrong and that she has to correct something about herself. It's just merely for the fact that if I'm just your boyfriend, that does not matter to anything in this world. There are plenty of girls with boyfriends right now with other boyfriends. There's plenty of boyfriends right now who are boyfriends but their girls are not girlfriends they're very single girls and I, I'm just not about to be a part of that whole idea of thinking a boyfriend girlfriend relationship is that serious so I'm going to be more serious with my partner to instill the thought that wow I do not want to be your boyfriend the goal is to be married because I don't I'm not with all that temporary waste a couple months waste a couple weeks waste a couple days waste a couple years of my life just to meet somebody because ultimately I already have friends and I don't need a female friend to come pretend to benefit my life because ultimately no female friend is going to benefit my life unless I care to be thrilled with her presence real like really because I mean ultimately nowadays for sure uh, most opposite sex friendships either lead to one drama off the rip sadly two sex i'm not trying to do that three a relationship that was built before a friendship was <laughs> that's a l and then four it just ends up being awkward so y'all end up being cool and then if you do like her and she ends up liking one of your homeboys or dating one of your homeboys y'all really gonna be feeling some type of way whenever y'all reveal all y'all true feelings to each other in a group setting but but with all that being said, I do, I do think that um, there are a lot of excuses on why I choose not to do things. Um, I know that there's always a stigma on uh, people's actions, like oh they'll do it for the one that they care about, oh they'll do it for the one that they love. Well, because somebody isn't doing something doesn't necessarily mean that they don't care about you or don't love you. That just means that you put a BS example and that you put a BS definition, and now you're using that BS example to define that definition, to use that definition to, in fact, put your significant other down and make them feel as though they are obligated to change their lifestyle to suffice for how you feel. When in reality, the only reason you feel like that is because of one word, and that's called insecurity. And if you are insecure, you should not be in a relationship anyways. And there's things you can work around when you're insecure in a relationship. You can feel ugly and work with that in your relationship. You can feel all kinds of things honestly in a relationship but one feeling of insecurity you should never feel is a lack of trust for no reason um when i say that i mean 
I don't know. After after I became single this most recent time, I don't trust anybody's words. Like before, I didn't trust dudes because I didn't. I grew up without a dad, stuff like that. Blah blah blah. Using you know that external reasons, right? But now I can't trust anybody, and it's really sad. Like not sad in the sense of. I need that comfort or I want to feel like I, I can trust somebody, blah, blah, blah. It's really just about the simple fact of, wow, who can I rely on when I fail myself? And honestly, the only person I can credit that to is, and not even a person, the only identity is God. Because Everybody else will fail you at some point in your life or on y'all's journey together in life. And what's the worst about all of that is that if you're seriously trying to commit to somebody for more than a couple of months or a couple of years of your life just to meet somebody, you have to realize that there's always going to be times where you don't like something about the person you're with. Because ultimately, we're all different people. Because you're not going to... If you were dating this... All right opposites attract that whole sentence that's that saying is bs if you are completely different from the person you're dating you're probably not going to get along because y'all are so different but to have things that are opposite and counteract each other and differences makes y'all individuals so you can't necessarily use those differences to build up some kind of idea that Okay, these are the things I don't like. If I put them in a box and I wrap that box up and I tape that box and I put that box in the backyard, then maybe if I come back and get that box in about two, three months, that box will be completely different on the inside and all the contents will be changed. Only with my mere effort of separating the box, not actually engaging in a healthy relationship where y'all's growth happens together. Because there's a lot of times where you're being told to do something um, on your end where you need to change something about yourself when in reality it's something that mutually y'all were supposed to be doing together but that somebody started before the other one or somebody started later which ultimately is always the case or usually the case I'm going to say always because I'm not in every relationship but most relationships that fail um, if they had an expectation for something to change they usually failed because what they thought they wanted to change or needed the other person to do to change um, was just something that really helped their ego or helped something they were insecure about. Because ultimately, I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you. In my last relationship, um, there were things that I used about how I felt to dictate certain decisions that she would make. Um, you know, certain things like apparel, stuff like that. Um, who you're around whenever I'm not around stuff like that but if the person you're with actually respects you and actually appreciates you there's never going to be a situation where anything questionable can happen so if something's questionable if something questionable is happening or not even questionable in the sense of you found out about something or exposure stuff like that but if it's questionable where you now wonder if your relationship is in jeopardy no this does not mean your boyfriend slash girlfriend is talking to somebody of the opposite sex and they're friends this means that they're not just friends they have intent and they're going to go through with that intent because there's plenty of times where we accuse people that we're with of them going to do something oh you're gonna cheat on me oh you're gonna do this you're gonna lie to me anyways if i ask when in reality that's just us against ourselves so the number one thing i learned about myself was that one i don't need to be in a relationship right now that's a it's like the biggest thing that i learned two relationships aren't for everybody when they're young relationships are really just a, a testament to learn something when you're young because ultimately like i said if it isn't for marriage what is it for i don't i'm not with all that temporary satisfaction stuff like if i was i would do heroin because why not isn't but i mean i'm not doing heroin let me clarify jeez i know some of y'all but anyways but yeah i feel like i feel like all of that was valid i don't make videos often i should again 
I want to make them shorter. And I want to make them mean something in the time being. Again. But, y'all have a wonderful day. It's Monday. Tears don't have school today for some reason. But it is what it is.